The next question that we have is as follows. Let's look at this question over here. It's a scale. Nice one. Scaled models of vehicles are available for collectors. A model of a Mercedes-Benz truck was constructed using a scale of 1 is to 50. I want to explain what that 1 is to 50 means, guys. Ne? Whenever you are given um, a scale, firstly, first things first, this is a number scale. It's not a bar scale. Know the difference between a number scale and a bar scale. And normally, whenever you need to use scales, you'd need to use a ruler. Let's see if they want us to use a ruler here, okay? So, here it says to us, it's 1 is 250. What does that 1 is 250 mean? Before I even read um, the questions, it means that for every one unit on the map, it represents 50 units in real life. It's important for you to know that because you could be asked that question. Um, I, don't, I haven't read the question, so I don't know which questions we are being asked. But it says to us here that the scale is 1 is 250. So we want to see um, the types of questions. And if you were given a question in terms of that, you would say for every one unit on the map, it represents 50 units in real life. Let's look at the questions. The first question um, in terms of this. So before we, 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 we go to the questions, I'd like us to just read the information that we have been given here because I always like analyzing whatever that we have been given before we read the questions because sometimes we panic afterwards. So let's just read what it says to us here. It says that a model of a Mercedes-Benz truck was constructed using a scale of 1 is to 50. And I said to you guys, it's one unit on the map represents 50 units. Don't say one centimeter. Please be careful. This is not... Um, the same, it is the same, but it's not the same um, entirely as geography. Because I know some learners who do mass literacy also do geography. And they'll say, no, ma'am, it's one centimeter equals to 50 centimeters. Be careful. It's one unit represents 50 units. So picture and information of a model of a Mercedes-Benz truck. So there we have our Mercedes-Benz truck over there. Um, a little model. And it says to us, um, A45. So it's the cost excluding import taxes, meaning that it's $45. And then it says to us, model of a Mercedes-Benz um, one, no, it's 14,313 vintage truck. And then it's given um, the scale over there. So this model costs $45. Why is it $45? Because it's just the model. It's not the actual car. <laughs> I'd also be very happy if a Mercedes-Benz was $45. So 3.3.1 says to us, the length of the truck in the picture is 76 millimeters. So it means that if you were to take your ruler, and it says here on the picture, if you were to take um, a ruler and then you were to go and measure this model, it would give you 76 millimeters, which is the, seven is, the same as what? 7.5 centimeters. Be quick on your feet with that, okay? However, the copy of the picture um, was reduced to 58.5%. Calculate in meters the actual length of the truck. So we know that the actual length of the truck is going to be 50 times, right? But also, we know there was a bit of a reduction that was made over there. So on the picture, it's 70 six millimeters so we want to know what it's going to be um, in real life so let's look at what we would do first things first the scale that we've been given is one is to 50 so we know map real life okay don't write that. I'm just writing it so that we can remember. And then it says to us that on the map, it's 7.5, um, it's 7, 76 millimeters. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go and write it down. So with that particular scale, we haven't been given whether it was, so that's why I said to you, please be careful in terms of that. So I'm going to use that as 76 millimeters, meaning my answer must always now be um, in millimeters. Let's go calculate real life. But before I do that, I'm going to just remove this so that we don't have all of that. Nah? 
cross multiplication, which is my favorite method, and divide with the one that is facing the x. So therefore, it's going to be 50 times 76 divided by 1. This is now in millimeters. Let's see if it gives us the right answer, guys. And if it doesn't give us the right answer, 50 times 76, 3,800 millimeters. 3,800 millimeters. So that's what we've calculated in terms of the length, okay? And obviously, it says to us here that we need to give this answer in centimeters, I mean, in meters. And if we do that, we need to divide this. I don't like the way I've written that over there. Let's just make it a bit neater. So we need to leave this answer now. Um, we need to leave it in meters. So it will be 3.8 meters. Okay, stunning. Let's leave that over there. The second question then says to us, Layla stated that the total cost of the 300 model trucks she intends to import is going to be 159,778.70, including the taxes. So now we know we've got that money over there for 300 trucks, 300 model trucks. Um, verify showing all calculations whether her statement is going to be correct. So can you see now, now we're being asked a question that says to us, verify, meaning um, that we, we need to see whether our answer is going to be the same as that answer or not. And then it says to us there, one AS, one eight dollar is equal to nine rand. I'm going to write that down. Okay. One American dollar. It's, it's, oh, actually it says Australian dollar. One Australian dollar um, equals to that. So I'm going to write it down so you can have a perspective of what I am talking about. So it says to us here that one Australian dollar, I was saying American, is equal to nine rand, but we've got all the cents that follow. So you need to use them as they are, okay? Five, six, four. So we know that's what one Australian dollar equals to. And it says to us import taxes, that 15% on the total cost, plus import duties, and so on and so on. So what we need to do with this particular question now is to see how many, um, how much we're going to have in terms of that. So we know that one truck, one model is equal to 45. Now I'm there. It equals to, um, it says to us, 45, that's how it's written there, okay? We know that one model, but we want how many models? We want 300 models. Therefore, 300 models times $45. Times $45, $13,500. $500. However, in this $13,500, um, it says to us that we now need to go and calculate the tax as well, the VAT that is going to be paid. And VAT in this particular case, it says to us that the VAT is going to be 15% on the cost price in rand. So it means that we need to take this money and convert it to rands. And after converting it to rands, then it says to us that we need to include um, the VAT in terms of that. Let's see how we're gonna calculate this. I'm gonna convert this 13,500. So I'm going to say 13,500 times, so I'm gonna multiply it with our rand, which is nine, nine, 0.41564. That's what I'm going to do first. Okay, I'm converting it to that first. 
times 9.41564 127 triple one 120 111.40 but this amount um, we have not included our VAT okay let's go and include our VAT in terms of this and if you want to there's a little shortcut if you want to have your price that has the VAT included in it this is what you are going to do you're going to multiply they told us that VAT um, is going to be 15% so you're going to say 115 all over 100. This amount is larger than 100. So it's going to give you the amount that is above, which means that you don't have to calculate that first and then go and add it. So it's a nice lacquer shortcut there. So that amount, oh, it's four. It's 14, not four, sorry. So please be careful when you are putting in such values. It's 14, one, four. So I'm just going to multiply that number by 115 all over 100. And that's going to be 146. Let's go write it. 146, and then I think I saw 177. Let's just confirm that. 0.81 cents. Okay, guys. So they said that this person originally had 157,778.70 and it says that it includes the taxes as well. So in terms of this, we've included our 15% and then it says to us we need to also add the import duties, which is 4.7% on the cost price in rands. So now we're going to go and add 4.7%. Quite a lot, right? But it's also a lot of marks. Therefore, 146, 177.81 plus we want 4.7% of the 127 triple Uh, 111.14. So whatever answer that we get there is then going to give us the final. So I'm going to take that answer and I'm going to add 4.7 Oops. Times 127 Oops. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing there. Okay, there we go. Delete. 127.111.14. Close brackets. 152,000. Perfect. 